Hi there, this is Abhishek and welcome to the fourth part of the time series uh, analysis video series that I'm producing. And in the last video, I have talked about the simple time series based on the rainfall in India and we predicted the uh, future rainfalls with the help of the existing data for the next three years. So with that, uh, we predicted a time series that uh, was constant uh, having a constant variance over a period of time and it did not have the trend or seasonal component and I stopped there and in this video I will talk about uh, what you need to do how you need to tune your halt winters method uh, for the trend and seasonal component all right so without wasting much time let's go down to the business and come here so what we are doing is we are forecasting time series that has only trend component. So for that, what I have done is I have taken the earlier created time series with the help of the sales data. So if we look at the sales underscore TS time series by plotting it. So this is the plot that we have for the yearly time series that is created with the help of this command. So if I press control enter, what you will see is that it has a good trend component and very less to no uh, negligible I would say a uh, seasonal component I could see only somehow this particular part this part or this part so I can say very less to negligible trend uh, seasonal component so we can ignore it all right so idea is that uh, we use this time series and creating a time series model based on that all right so let's go down and and what you need to do is you need to import library for a cast as well as the library which is ttr to continue the continue with the commands that i will show you in a few minutes all right um so here what we are doing is we are forecasting for time series that has only the trend component and to do that if you remember when the trend and seasonal component both were missing then we have made two component beta is false and gamma is false but when we are saying that yes trend component is present then we are making only gamma is false so basically there are three components which is alpha beta and gamma so alpha is basically the current value or the uh, exact value which uh, uh, series is having so in that case only that was present so we did not make it false but here in this case beta which represent the trend component we are uh, not mentioning that means we are saying that beta is present so make only gamma is false which is a seasonal component so when i will show you the third one which is the time series with the seasonal component we will even reduce this component or remove this component so we'll basically saying that all the components are present and then create a time series for us so that's a time series based on the exponential smoothing and if you are data is representing the additive model with the trend component then you can go ahead and use this halt winters with the component gamma is false which indicates that seasonal component is missing all right so if i go ahead and press control enter it will produce the sales yearly forecast model for me if i want to see the values related to yearly sales forecast that's how the values are so alpha 0.51 beta is equals to 0.36 what it indicates is basically how recent or old values have been taken so relatively recent value have been taken in case of alpha in base of beta uh, little bit old values have been taken to smooth time series so that's that's what it indicates if it is near to 1 that means 0 0.9 or 0 0.8 that means the most recent observation if it is near to 0 that means 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.1 that means it most uh, uh, not relatively recent but opposite uh, in opposite way it's kind of a little bit old values that have been taken to smooth the parameters all right 
so that's what it indicates if it comes that's how you need to interpret and after that what you can do is you can plot the yearly sales forecast so if I press control enter that's the without doing much more tuning or anything we got relatively so red line basically indicates the forecast and the black one basically indicates the actual values and so it is following a path here in this case it it has a lot of variance like this so whenever there is a, a little bit of up and down is present then then this this particular piece or uh, you know forecast is giving us an issue otherwise it is following the trend which line is following all right um after that what you can do is you can predict forecast the future values with the help of the forecast package so here is the object that i have created uh, for it, which is sales yearly forecast future and we are using the method forecast dot halt winters which will come after putting three columns of forecast package so forecast package three columns and then forecast dot halt winters specify the yearly sales forecast model and say h is equals to 10 that means for the next 10 time periods so press control enter and plot the values again with the help of the forecast patch package which is uh, using the function plot dot forecast and specify the future value that you have got it on in over here so if i go down and press control enter so that's how i am getting the next 10 time period values so it's basically following the trend this dark bluish area is basically with 80 percent confidence level what would be the range and with the 95 percent confidence level this gray area is indicating that what would be the range so your value will fall into this particular range based on the variance in the data that model has predicted great so that's about the model when you have the trend component present and as i mentioned it may happen that you have the seasonal component so for seasonal components what i have taken is the air passengers data which is an inbuilt data so plot.ts if i go ahead and produce the plot.ts that's how you can see that okay there is a trend component which is present but if you see the fluctuation which is a constant fluctuation is giving us an indication that it has the presence of seasonal component so in this case it has both beta which is trend and gamma which is a seasonal component presence and now with the help of uh, halt winters exponential smoothing technique we were going to forecast so again the approach is very simple just specify within the halt winters the method uh, the data set which is here passenger and if you can see uh, i am not specifying gamma is equals to false because i can see that from the time series it has both trend and uh, trend and seasonal component so both the factors need to be present over there so if i go ahead and press control enter it will produce a model for me if i plot the model that's how your red line is basically again indicating the forecast value so you can see that because uh, both trend and and uh, seasonal component is present it is trying to follow the path which your actual values are following with some limited variance great after this um if you want to see the component so if i press control enter so these are the different uh, values for the seasonal uh, factors and uh, you have alpha value as 0.24 so relatively old values have been used to smooth the time series beta is almost zero and that is uh, uh, i think expected because you have a trend but with this lot of fluctuation you know a series cannot really identify what trend is available but what it can clearly identify with one which is something surprising to me because generally what we usually get is 0.8 or 0.9 when a strong seasonal component is present but in this case it is very much apparent that there is a strong seasonal component is present and that's why the most most recent values have been used to smooth and forecast the time series great um after this what you can do is uh, get the forecast for next 
10 time periods. So if I press Ctrl Enter, it will give me the forecast values here We're using the forecast package and within the forecast package using the method forecast.alt windows. And after that, what I can do is plot the forecast next 10 time period values. So if I press Ctrl Enter, so this is the next 10 time period values that I have got with the help of the plot dot forecast. So again, blue line indicates the actual values uh, that you should see, but that's not how it happens in real life. So you have the at 80% confidence, what should be the uh, range and at 95% what should be the final range. So this this is about uh, simply producing the model and uh, and then plotting the model over a chart to get an idea okay that's how the situation may look like when you will be in that time period but most of the time uh, we see that uh, that's not how you simply go ahead and uh, produce the model you do the lot of validation and one of the validation is plotting the residuals or the forecast error values on the plot. So I am just giving you here one way of uh, testing the validation of your model. So plot.ts because it's a time series. So air passenger underscore forecast. So that's the future values along with the current value that we got. So what we are doing is we are trying to identify the residuals which is nothing but the forecast errors. and if forecast errors shows us constant variance over a period of time with no fluctuations or no specific pattern, that means uh, it's, a, it's a good model to go ahead with. So if I press Ctrl Enter to plot the residuals, that's how the uh, plot is coming. And as I can see, values are mostly around zero with little bit of fluctuation which is a, just a fluctuation or a random fluctuation, but nothing like uh, what I could see uh, a significant seasonal trend or anything. So with a constant variance of zero, what we can say is it's relatively a uh, good model to, uh, to go ahead and predict the values. But that's just the one way and very simple way. But you do a lot of testing and you have uh, methods like uh, plotting the error on histogram and uh, I think there is a box chunk test that you need to do. Um, there is ACF and PACF test. I think that's the term I think you would be looking for if you are experienced into it or want to learn then ACF uh, and PACF which I will talk about in my next video about how you can validate all of these models against the ACF and PACF curves as well as box and chunk test that tells us how good or bad our model, a time series model is. So in this video, that's pretty much all I have. I wanted to give you an idea about all the three ways in which you can do the time series forecasting using the exponential smoothing halt winters method. So, and in the next video, we will see the validation of these models. And then we will see in subsequent videos the ARIMA modeling, which I think of interest for most of the learners. So we will see the ARIMA models, what, what they are, when to use it, how to validate it, all of those things. So keep watching this space and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.